Hello, I'm Robert. Welcome to the Akubis channel. In this episode, I will show you the EFB battery test. This battery is recommended to the cars with start-stop system. TAP is battery factory which is located in Europe, exactly in Slovenia. Parameters of this battery according to the label at first. Capacity 70 ampere hours, starting current 760 amps according to the EN standard. The battery is in L3 housing and it's also maintenance free which means that water cannot be topped up. I bought this battery in a regular store with the following parameters. Weight 19 kilos, 220 grams. Voltage 12.58 volts. Estimate inrush current 807 amps. State of charge 91%. State of health 100%. This parameter should be interpreted as a degree of efficiency. For example, internal resistance 3.8 milliohms. Now I will charge this battery using the Russian rectifier Coulomb. I will set the following limits. The voltage limit is 16 volts, maximum current is 15 amps, charging time is limited to 24 hours. After recharging, the weight of the battery drops by 4 grams to 19 kilos, 216 grams. After a three day break, the battery has the following electric parameters. Voltage 12.74 volts, rated inrush current 798 amps, state of charge 100%, state of health 100%, internal resistance 3.8 milliohms. The external temperature of the battery is 14 degrees Celsius. Now we start to reserved capacity test. The battery is loaded with 25 amps until the terminal voltage reach 10.5 volts. The tester count the discharge time, takes into account temperature, capacity and of course Pickard factor. The result of this discharge is time expressed in minutes. In this test it is 120 minutes. Converting this result to ampere hours, we can estimate its capacity at 78 ampere hours in the ENC20 standard. The battery has been discharged by 100% of its capacity, it's important, and now the battery must be charged in my standard, of course. Maximum voltage is limited to the 16 volts, maximum current is limited to 50 amps, and the time at last is limited to the 24 hours. After the second charging, the weight of the battery drops by another 2 grams to 19 kilos, 214 grams. By another 3 day break, the battery has the following parameters. Voltage 13 volts, rated inrush current 837 amps, state of charge 100%, state of health 100%, internal resistance 3.7 milliohms. And now the most interesting part of the test, which is freezing. I put the battery in this condition in the freezer for 24 hours. After 24 hours of freezing, the external temperature of the battery is minus 25 degrees Celsius. And the electric parameters are as follows. Voltage 12.85 volts, estimate inrush current 416 amps, state of charge still 100%, but state of health drops to 72%. Internal resistance rise to 7.4 milliohms. Some construction details, grid type, positive made in technology expanded metal, negative made in technology concast, grid alloy for positive and negative grid is calcium, calcium. Below you find a link to my website, where I will also post the result of these tests. Don't be afraid to share my videos. Thank you very much for your attention, hope you like this video. Lift thumb up, of course, and make sure you subscribe to the Akubis channel. Thank you very much. See you in next episode.